How's it going? Connor here from Train Like a Warrior and on today's workout video you and I are going to be following alongside each other with this lean muscle building, toning and sculpting upper body workout that you can perform at home with very minimal equipment. This session can be performed with one dumbbell, a kettlebell, a pair of dumbbells, even some water bottles. Some people are using two litre water bottles and buckets filled up to add resistance. Anything that you can come up with to add some resistance to this session so you can push yourself. This workout is gonna consist of 10 different exercises. We're gonna perform three sets for each exercise, 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. As always, if your weights or your resistance is a bit light, focus on the intensity with good form. Push out the reps. If they're a bit heavier, slow it down. Focus on good and controlled reps and you're gonna see some incredible results with this workout. We're gonna add in some bodyweight strength exercises to combine the weight training, the bodyweight strength together to maximize results. As always, before we get into the workout, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below after you complete the workout. Let me know how you get on. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you never miss any of these free workouts or free workout programs. And as always, get ready and let's smash this session together. Okay team, before I set the timer, the first exercise is gonna be a kneeling Arnold press. Okay, kneeling position, dumbbells like so, up and rotate. Now if you're just using your one dumbbell or whatever you're using, you can just kneel and press up above the head like so, okay? It doesn't matter as long as we're pressing up above the head, that is the key for this exercise. Right, get ready, 10 second countdown. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, three sets for each exercise, focusing good reps, and let's push ourselves together. Build some lean muscle. Right, there you go. Up, rotate. My weight is about medium, so I'm gonna focus on good form and try to push out good quality reps. And if you're using like a heavier weight, for some exercises, you can always drop down the one dumbbell and just use the one dumbbell variation or whatever you're using. You know yourself, fitting this one already. Keep it going. Good. One down, two to go. So we're targeting the shoulders, the chest, triceps, biceps, back. Everything is gonna be engaged with this workout. Okay, here we go again. Arnold presses from the needle position. Here we go, let's go. Every rep counts throughout this session, so try to focus on good quality form. 20 seconds remaining. It's still intense, it's, it's high intense strength training. Because we're only taking a 20 second rest. My upper body's burning. Nice. Good work. Okay, get ready, last set, and we're moving on to underhand grip rows. Right, let's go. Shoulders are thinning it, that's for sure. Keep it going, team. Every rep, you got it. Ugh. Few more seconds. <laughs> Shoulders are burning. It's the rotation you see. Right, the next one is underhand grip rows. Okay, so underhand grip, and you're just rolling up. Like that, okay? You can still do that with one dumbbell by just rolling it up and towards it, or your kettlebell, or whatever you're using. Right, so make sure you try to get the underhand grip so you're targeting a bit more biceps. I'm coming right up, squeeze. Let's 
Set, try to keep the form good, keep the squeeze at the top, control the breathing. In, and out. Whoa, come on, a few more. Nice, gonna grab a drink. Good form, let's keep it push. Feedback has been brilliant with these strength sessions. I told you at the start of this here, I really want to make sure that we're combining a lot of good strength work in to these real time workouts. It's all about progression. Feeling it. Feeling that a lot in the biceps, as well as even the upper back. Few more sit-outs. Ah, come on. Good. Always trying to push to your limit. So don't be afraid like if there's say 15 seconds left in the clock and you're completely burnt out. Drop the weight, you've got your reps done, that's good. And then rest and then move on to your next set. Don't try to wreck yourself by doing mad form. Okay? Use the time frame to just push out reps. Don't worry about intensity unless your weight is really light. Like I'm feeling that I'm not going to get much reps in this set. Okay, if it's awkward to do anything up over the head like that. Right, let's go. Okay, so here my weight is a wee bit light for overhead, so I'm just gonna rev it out. I'm gonna focus on intensity. And there you go, I'm feeling it. And that's another thing that confuses people with rep range. You know, some people say like an 8 to 12 is perfect to build muscle and all different things. There's so many different ways to actually achieve results. That's why we're combining it all together. You think about push up variations. Okay, get ready for this next set. Like push up variations, for example. I would do so many different push ups. Some very high reps, and then some more advanced variations. And I've never seen better results by doing that. There's the same thing if you're doing like bodyweight squats. If you push out a load of reps, switch up the, var the variations, you're gonna see incredible results. And the same thing goes for lifting heavy weights. And like an eight to 12 rep range. Combine them all together, and that's where you get some serious results. And that's what this training, like a warrior training, is all about doing everything it takes to maximize. Uh, not just muscle gain, but functionality, strength, endurance, core, all of it. Uh, I feel that. And you know yourself from doing these workouts, just how effective it can be. It can be by adding all that different training styles together from weights, conditioning, body weight strength, cardio, hit. Right, 
triceps are burning. Come on, a few more. Oh, here. Feeling it. Right, the next one. Now, if you have two dumbbells, right, I want you to sit them up like that to do push ups. Okay? It's going to be like elevated push ups. If not, if you have only one dumbbell or kettlebell, just do your normal push up variation, okay? Like this can also be done if you have like two books or a few books stacked up or two wee boxes, anything, if you want to push yourself. Okay, don't be afraid to pause the video if you need to get it. Or just do your normal push up variations, but this is a deeper range of motion. So you're targeting right up the upper chest and your shoulders, as well as shaping off the back of your arms and triceps. That's it, keep it going, a few more seconds. Good. See where we can find the good body weight strength exercise. Okay, get ready. Let's go for it. Focus on good solid form here. Right down. Back up. It's amazing to see so many of you getting it on well with your push ups. Like, I know at the start, push ups was a big struggle. And now people are performing their first ever rep. It's amazing to see. So just keep on pushing. Oh, you want to get the results. Ah, come on. Woo! One more set. And I think everyone now is realizing that it's so much more than just looking a certain way. All that comes whenever you're adding in this training style. You know, you're focusing on trying to progress, perform more advanced exercises, lift a bit heavier weight, push more with the intensity. That's what it's all about. And therefore, you feel great after you complete it. A good stretch. Ten seconds. Oh, come on. Every rep. Huh? Oh, feeling it. Right, the next one is kneeling curls. Okay, you can do any variation you want. I'm gonna do hammer curls with the two dumbbells. If you're using one dumbbell or a kettlebell curl up like that, it's completely up to you. Find any variation that you want as long as we're curling. All right, hammers. Knee from the kneeling position. You can also do the standing if you want. Try to keep that wee bit squeeze on top. Come on. seconds. Try to push out in our few reps. Good, one down, two go. And then we're gonna move on to round number two. Hammers again. Or whatever curve variation you're doing, just try to keep the squeeze. And I know a lot of people have been asking me like how to lose body fat around your arms. Now you cannot specifically target an area to lose body fat, okay? But what you can do is build up 
that muscle, that's why strength training, body weight strength training is so good, okay, because you're building that lean muscle around that body part, <coughs> therefore it tones it up a lot quicker, so you're building muscle instead of body fat, <coughs> that's why it is crucial to add strength training, to do these workouts into your routine. Okay, last set. <clears throat> Keep it going. Feel the burn. Oh, come on. Ten seconds remaining. Push it out. Ah, oh, feeling it. Ah, oh. there it is, team. Round one complete. Get ready for round number two. Okay team, before we move into round number two, the first exercise is going to be a chest press. Okay, but I want you to come up as if you were in your high, so the hip thrust position, and coming down like that, okay? Keeping the glutes up above the ground. Now again, if you have only one dumbbell or a kettlebell or whatever you're using up in your like, hip thrust position, and just press and say you have one dumbbell, press it up like that, okay? No excuse uh, with this here, let's push. This is the last round, let's really give it your all, okay? Three sets, let's go, rev it out. So this is a bit light for me, so I'm just gonna push out the reps. But also keeping the tension. Another way, if you want to make it a bit more difficult, if the weight's a bit light, you can come in and turn so you're getting an increased range of motion and then push it back off again. That's what I'm going to do here. That's it. One set, good go. Okay, get ready. Set <sighs> feeling that one with the rotation for me. Like this is normally a very light weight for me to press with, but with the rotation, with the hips up, and with the intensity, I'm overloading the body, I'm pushing myself. Good, one more set, and we're moving on to our pullovers, okay, for the back. That's the one where we're coming back with the dumbbell, and back up and over. So whatever you're using. Right, ready? Right. Let's go. Every rep, let's keep the momentum. Good work. Okay. 
Okay, the next one is our overhead uh, pullover. Lying back, doing our pullover to target our back. Okay. So, one down down, whatever you can. Slowly come back, slowly come back, and then up and over. If you can, try not to let the weight touch the ground. So go right out, near full extension, hold it for a few seconds, and then back up. Of course, if your weight is a bit heavy, just try to get back, and then up again, in a good form. But if it's a wee bit lighter, like myself, keep the squeeze, keep the tension, just feel it in your lats also, and then back up again. And then down, bring the intensity. Good. Nicely done, you should feel that right in your lats and your mid sort of portion of the back. It's a good stretch. Okay, ready to go again. Now if you're not feeling it, you, know, you can't just do your normal dumbbell rows, it's up to you, okay? Don't be afraid, if you're not feeling an exercise, whether the weight's too light or whatever, or you haven't got something, switch it up. As long as you're moving now within the session. Oh, I'm feeling this one. Nicely done. Right, the next one is a bodyweight exercise. It's called an X push up. So you're crossing your body over like this here in your X position and you're pushing off, okay? Now, if this is too difficult for you, you do it on your knees. Take your time. It's an exercise here where I just want you to focus on getting better at. So we have three sets, so just take your time with it, right? So you're pushing up and off. Like you're going to feel this here no matter what. So, you can do this on your knees or even up against a bench or whatever. Like even on your knees it's hard. But I want us to focus on it and this is the right time to do it. Coming down. Foot extent. Oh, it's a car. That is a killer. Oh, so worth it. <clears throat> okay, get ready now for the second set of these X push ups. <clears throat> push it off. Ah. Come on. Feel that everywhere from the shoulders, the triceps, core, everything's engaged. A few more seconds. Oh. Born out. Oh. 
Good, one more there, and then we're moving on to biceps. Absolute killer that X push up. There's another new one for you. Oh. Right, let's go for it. Let's go. Right up. Keep the squeeze at the top. Let's go. Every rep counts with these. Come on. You can always drop your knees and you need to push right. Just your bicep curls, any variation you want, one dumbbell, one kettlebell, whatever it is. Right, that goes to show you that exercise, body weight, not one weight needed, and it is a killer. Probably one of the hardest movements you'll ever do, whether you're doing weights or not. Killer. Right, let's go. That's what I'm saying with so many people that overlook the power of body weight training. Send them this workout video and tell them to get stuck into this and do the MX push ups. Set every rep, let's go. Keep it pushing, this is the second last exercise of the workout. Okay, we have two more sets of this, and then one more exercise left. Cold body the same. Alright. Any curl variation you want. I'm coming up, rotating and slowly coming down like that, almost like I'm coming in a hammer curl position. <sighs> a few more. Ah, come on. Oh. My body is feeling it. Absolutely fatigued at this stage, but we're nearly there. This goes to show you a 30 minute session, just how much you can get done. And you can always go ahead and repeat another round or combine any other of the workouts from the channel into it. You know yourself. Right, let's go, last one of these. Right team, for the last one, we're gonna do a standing shoulder press. Okay, if you have the two dumbbells, I'm gonna be doing like a neutral press. You're holding the dumbbells like that, and coming up, even that's hard for me right now, my upper body is burning. Or just the one dumbbell, whatever you're using, up across the head. Okay? So a neutral position for me, if you have the two weights. Okay. If the dumbbells are too light, do them underneath. I am feeling this right now. Oh boy, it's shaking. For that 
the neutral press, press if you're using the two dumbbells, you're feeling it that wee bit more on the triceps. Just you're holding the dumbbell like that, coming up straight full extension instead of the rotation. But it does matter whatever you have going for. Body is in shutdown mode right now. Muscles are feeling drained. It's the high intensity width. I'm gonna try it on the knees of this. Oh, see the harder. It's definitely more difficult on the knees. Oh, it's the little rest time you see with the with the weight on the body. It's another way to overload the, the body there for push new muscle growth. A few more seconds. Give it your all. Right, let's go for it. Up and up. Push it. Come on, two more seconds. Here, two more reps. Try not to stop. No matter how heavy the weight is. No matter how important that the shoulders is, that's what we're doing. Two more seconds. That's it, brilliant work. So team nerd is your lean, muscle building, toning and sculpting upper body at home workout complete. Just want to say a big well done because that right there is not easy. Some very good strength based movements to really help you push towards your goals. As always, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, let me know how you got on with the workout, even how you got on with the X push-ups. I love to hear your feedback so we can all keep on pushing forward together and keep each other motivated. As always, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tag me in your Instagram stories. Absolutely love to see who's working out alongside with me. As always, keep up the hard work. Don't be afraid to complete another round if you want to or combine any of the other sessions from the channel into your workouts and let's keep up the momentum and I'll see you in the next one. Good work.